Why, why, howdy, friends. We are back, and we are in the long dark again. And I know I should probably be playing other games. Like, I haven't done many other games for a bit. Um, I've been busy, obviously, because I'm always busy working on my own games. But I also love playing other people's games, if they're good enough, at least. And this is one of those games that is good enough. I have been playing this every chance I get, to be honest. Um when I've been taking a break, because it's Canadian, and I believe in Canadian behind. games. And as you can see, we're well prepared, because we're going to take a voyage today. And that put us well over our weight recommendations, but we'll hang on, and we'll eat what we need to, and stay alive. I think I've got everything. Let's just make sure I didn't forget my mattress. I did not, okay. I think I've got everything we need. i am actually got some decent gear. Um, as you can see, these deer boots, a hat, and the gloves, rabbit, rabbit hat, rabbit gloves. It's pretty good. A little better gear than we're used to having. Oh, which way am I going? I should be going this way. I gotta really pay attention to which way I go. So, on the map, we've been heading up mostly, and, um, we've got to the edges of the map. I realize it's probably good to head down since we've got a lot of fishing gear. And we still haven't managed to find ourselves a gun yet, so we're going to work on that as well. I have a plan. We're going to head down to the river. Oh, maybe we should just go to the river right now. We're going the wrong way again. Okay. Let's just stay, stick to the river here, okay? We're going to head to this river over here, and we're just going to follow it, hopefully, all the way down to the next city. As long as it doesn't get so thin, it starts letting us fall through. We're going to lighten the load a little bit, because we can. We'll go to our food, see how good I am now. I know how to do stuff now. And we will eat. So I just eat a cup of coffee? That's kind of what it looked like. And we'll drink a little bit of water. And then our stats are full for us to get through the day. We are going to have to pick up some wood at some point. But as you can see, our temperature is not falling because we have uh, some good stuff. One thing I don't understand is I made crampets, and I'll show you guys these. But I don't know if they're just equipped or what the deal is. Like, uh, I don't know if you have to make another piece or if they're just attached automatically. I don't know. But they're on. I, I think they're working. I don't know. I have some traps over there, too, I set. But that's how I've been getting all this uh, stuff. I just managed to make a bow. I've not been able to use it yet. So we're going to have to give that a shot. But we have so much meat and everything. I really wanted to cross into a new map. And get looking for a gun, maybe change what we're doing for a living. Like, uh, I've been doing a lot of hunting, maybe we can do something else. Well, maybe we'll do some hunting, maybe we'll hunt some wolves. I did find a wolf corpse at one point, and I thought that was awfully cool. So here's the plan, we're going to head down the head down the ice, but we'll see what happens here. Um, I haven't really figured out the arrow situation. I made some hardened arrows. I understand they're only good to be used on small animals. So I think it's going to be like foxes and uh, maybe deer. I don't know. But um, we're going to have to figure this stuff out. We're going to. we got so much meat right now, though, we could barely walk, as you could see. So we'll just keep on lightening the load and traveling as far as we can. And this should all be marked off. So we'll just keep staying here. I've been to that cabin. I've been basically all over the map. We need to go to the next map. I have no idea how to get to the next map. But we're going to try to follow the waterways. Because I figure it'll be a little easier to get there this way. But we'll find it real fast, I'm sure. And you can't see me right now. But I'm wearing a sweater and a toque in celebration of... This wonderful Canadian game. I see a waterfall, so I'm not going to be able to get by there. Let's see what's going on here. Is that why there's a cave there? Uh, well, let's find out, I guess. 
Looks like we should go up there where that cave was, but maybe we'll try going up this side. And if there is a, a waterfall up there, that probably means the ice is going to get thin. I've still not figured out how to... Um... Oh, you know what it's saying? It's not very stable ice, so let's just go ahead and get off right now. And I haven't... I have hunted rabbits over here, but I haven't uh, spent much too much time on the ice. Let's look at the map here. And as you can see, the water goes this way, but it also goes this way. We need to go this way with the water, I think, to get to the next map. I may be mistaken on how to get to the next map, so let's just try to follow that wall. And we'll follow it all the way down if we have to, and uh, see if we can get away out of here. But I gotta say, for a game that's from 2014, this has got to be one of the best games I've played in a long time. And it's not just the survival, it's not... Oh, oh. I shoot you idiots. I'll shoot you idiots. Sorry, sorry about that. It's there's something else about it. It's it's I guess it's the cold, you know, it's always fighting the elements, but um the inability to be able to like build um say a cabin. And the resource thing, like you're always moving around trying to find a better resources. I still haven't found a gun, which I'd really like to find. Looks like we might be able to get up this way a little further, so let's keep moving up this way. And if you don't know who I am, this is the first time you're joining me. Welcome to the video. I am Lord Fish. I am a game developer myself, but I am not the developer of this game. This is not my game. It's just a fellow Canadian game company made it, and I thought, hey, well, let's play some of that. Actually, um, I played this a long time before I started developing games, and I thought it was a really cool game. And you're seeing a lot of different games that are a lot like it out there, and you know, maybe there's some that are pretty good, but this is always one that you're going to be able to come back to, play it ten times, and it's going to feel different every time, because you're doing things a little bit different every time, right? I start gathering sticks, because we may need to have a fire at some point, get, some, get our energy up, have a nap, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Oh my, 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 I didn't even know this stuff was up here. Stop and do a mapping. We gotta want to mark the trail for we know how to get back if we need to. It's looking like there's a body in front of us with some rabbits. Rabbits and bodies. There they are. And again, we got so much rabbit meat, I'm not gonna bother hunting these bunnies this second. We're just gonna run in, grab the stuff, and get out of here. Let's see, there's a hatchet, which I already have a hatchet, but let's have a look. Excellent. I think it's worse condition. Let's let's double check. Oh, there's some extra weight we can shed. Where's our hatchet? So oh, right here. So yeah, it is worse condition. We just don't have the budget to carry it, so we're gonna have to ditch it. There's some good wood around. Oh my god, there's a freaking moose. These bunnies not see us because we're crouching. How do I shoot? Uh oh. Okay, so I think we just lost an arrow here. We're gonna have to try to ref. Oh, there it is. There it is. That moose really didn't like that, and I shot it at the ground by accident. That was my bad. Let's go check out at this fishing cabin. Could do a few fish. Looks like there's some other stuff over here. I'll maybe do another map. You gotta keep trying to lighten the load. I do got a little bit of wood to burn, too, though. I'll try to map the whole way through. I got a bunch of fat fish, <laughs> fat, bleh, fishing tackle. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm in trouble talking. <gasps> Survival Outdoors. A cool book to read. Oh, that's cool. Alright, 
right, let's have a look. Make sure we don't need any of this stuff. Probably just going to be a little more salvaging now. Get this door shut. All right, let's, uh, we're not cold, so let's actually get the ice open here. Let's use this crowbar. Wonder how that's going to work, but we'll see what happens here. Yeah, baby, crack that ice. All right, and now we need to catch a fish. Let's see, lure, we got no bait. What? The pack is getting too heavy to carry. What? There's some good fishing here, so let's go to our new fishes. Let's eat this. Num 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 num. And wait, why is this one already 94%? It's a bigger fish. Actions. Harvest. Maybe we'll take a nap here because we'll probably be dry through the night. Action. Maybe we'll keep that guy. I don't know. Um. I don't know if we're going to need to take a nap or not. Um, I guess we'll take a nap and see how cold it gets in like three hours. Hopefully this keeps the elements off us as well. And we get a save in case something goes wrong. Yeah, it looks like we're good. We're not wet or anything. It looks like it's storming out. Maybe we'll drink a little bit more water. Oh yeah, my bed's out. I was like, oh, where, where's my bed? We're gonna die. Okay. And what? It's not nighttime yet, so maybe we'll do a little more fishing before we have a fire. And we'll use this, because I don't want to use my other tools. And we will put a lure on, and then we will bait that lure. and see what we get. A white fish. Holy cripes, look at the size of them. Alright, let's see. No, it's not dark yet either. I think the storm's passing. Should get some wood to pass through the night, maybe. Yeah, we should keep pushing on, too. Yeah, we'll keep pushing on. We're pretty good after that nap. There's that moose again. Okay, you guys are gonna have to be quiet this time. You scared him last time. The wind's blowing at him, so he's gonna smell us pretty soon. Oh, I just missed him. I must be on easy, they don't kill you, because I feel like you wanted to kill me. I had to aim a bit higher, I think it went a little low. But we're trying, we're trying. Let's do a marker. There's a rabbit trapped over there. Gotta be getting close to the edge of the map. Some kind of sound, town set up over here. See what's up. Where's your pistol? Oh, I did need a sewing kit. Alright. There's that moose. We're just going to stop trying to tangle with him. Okay, we gotta, we got to be getting close, right? Uh-oh. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe you can only go to side to side. I don't really know. I think this game is pretty fun, though, either way. So we're just going to keep going. It looks like we're so overweight we can't even walk. Have to eat some more meat. Maybe drink some more water. 
try to keep our resources up, but we need to keep moving too. I don't know, we're still too overweight. I think it's because of those sticks we picked up, but we'll have a fire pretty soon. Oh, what's this? Is that a fireplace? It's a bunny. Could end up being useful. I don't really need it though. I got so much meat on me. It's just gonna overweigh us again. So I'm not gonna grab him. That wolf must have killed it, I guess. And we scared away the wolf figures, huh? Let's try to survey again. You can see we're hitting some sort of road. We're at our weight limit. So we need to get rid of some of this wood. Probably by having a fire, but I was looking for a good spot to do it. Could also make a snow cave, which should really lighten the load as well, and uh, hang out there for a few hours. But I feel like we probably don't need that. Um, do we go up the other side? How do we get out of this town? Is what I need to know, guys. Do we go up the other side? I don't know. Maybe we follow this road. So far down, eh? You can get out of here, wolves. I don't know which way to go, but we do need to lighten the load either way. We are starting to get a little bit cold. We'll maybe find a good spot and we will just have a little tiny nap and see if we can uh, continue from there. So we're just going too slow at this point. Let's do this. Am I out of the wind? It looks like it's... got ourselves a little camp. Now push our way through the forest as much as we can, but you gotta make sure that your resources are taken care of, and at this point we're just too heavy. So we'll get rid of all these little sticks we've been picking up. Oh, we got some reclaimed wood as well. like the weather might be shifting so maybe that's all we'll do in case the weather does shift if our fire goes out and we wake up we're going to need a bit of wood to make sure that we're not going to die here so feels like night is coming all right and again every time you sleep oh look we got lots of time to go to let's do A T. There we go. Maybe we'll add a bit more fuel. We got one stick. Sure, throw it in. I got an outdoors book. You just probably start studying that. got five hours of uh, study and it's oh it's a fire starting book that's cool we'll get our tea and we'll get a nap and next time we're forced to stop for a while we can use that but I just want to get our energy up again to make sure we keep on moving as fast as possible oh, I shouldn't have drank water the tea would have filled up our water Let's see what we got left Look at food. Have something to eat here. There we go. Lighten the load as well. And I know we're full, but we'll drink it anyways. And I'm going to take this can with me because I'm kind of afraid we're going to end up uh, getting uh, losing one of our pots and then we're going to be in real trouble out here.
it. If you want to see more of what you missed, you can check it out. The um, any more of the video that you might want to see should be up on um, what's it called? Gear is slowing me down. Twitch. If you want to check me out, it should be uh, Lord Fish or Queen Fish Games, one of the two. I'll put a link in the description if you really want to check it out. That way you can find it. I don't know. We're going to try to go this way, I guess. Or should we try to go up that mountain? I don't know if I can make it over the mountain. Looks like we're still overweight, which I don't really understand. I guess it's the fish. Oh, yeah. They're heavy. That's some heavy fishes. So we're just going to process them for bait. And it should lighten the load, I imagine. Jeepers, creepers, and if not, we'll dump some of them. That fish was four pounds. Yeah, that really lightened the load there. I guess we'll try to go up, and we'll see what happens when we get up. But it might be a dead end. Kind of looks like it. And as you can see, our ankles are at risk of breaking, so we need to be careful as well. I don't think we're getting up that, to be honest. Get down before we hurt ourselves. We grab our sleeping bag. Yeah, we did. Alright, let's go down this way. We'll look for a different way. We'll see where this takes us. Um, hopefully to our lower area. I was trying to get my way down to the lakefront. Hoping to find a gun down there. And uh, we'll see what happens, though. This game's pretty good for surprises. I, I think I'm just not looking in the right spots for guns because, like, if we look at the whole map, how did I not find a gun? <laughs> I feel like I felt found most of the area, but I guess not. Where does this go? Just to keep her south path. And we're not getting over that, I would say. So far we're warm, but we're going to have to keep in mind we're going to have to grab some more wood pretty soon. Drink this tea. I guess it's going to make us tired, but... Well, we could just have a sleep in the snow. It says we're warm. I don't know if we'll be wet, but we could do an hour. Just to make sure we're at top... <laughs> peak conditions while we're still moving here. I just hope we don't wake up to a storm. Things get real confusing like when you wake up to storms. And we do a map. Yeah, it looks like we can. I think it's because of the aurora borealis in the sky. Or the northern lights as they're more known as. I could be mistaken. I feel like this is the way out, but we just need to keep tromping down this way. But it may get dark after it ends, too. Oh. Got quite a bit of energy back, but we're still wasting it fast if we run, so we're just going to have to take our time. It looks like we might be able to go up that way, and that's, I think, the direction we want to head. Let's give it a shot think we don't want to go side to side we want to go to the lower valley but I'm not sure exactly how we get through get up here a little bit and we'll do a mapping and see if we can spot anything that might help us get through oh that might be a way it's hard to say it's kind of the beauty of this game you kind of got to explore it every time and if you do every map on on here honestly you're gonna be three days just on different maps so yeah, it looks like might be the way, so. Cripes are mighty. We're far down there. Kind of got to turn that one way like that way, but. Maybe we should go back down the road that way. Let's we'll see where this takes us. If we have to, we'll turn around. That's kind of the beauty of the game. Oh, we're warming up, which seems weird. Yeah, it seems like this is a dead end. 
Sometimes there's some caves off to the side, but I think we just need to get back down. We'll go to the end of the road, we'll just stick to the road and see where it takes us, and then if it's the wrong way, we'll turn around and follow the road all the way back and try it the other way. And we'll see where we're at after that. I think that's the solution. It looks like this road twists and turns, so maybe it'll go in the right direction eventually. Am I heading towards the road here? Is this the road again? I'm guessing not. Let's see what this says. I'm gonna be careful not to use all those up either. Looks like it's up here. Again, we'll start picking up some wood. Temperature is dropping, so. I don't know where the road is. I don't know how I lost the road, but I did. God, Sargnet. I'll find it again, don't worry. Uh oh. Is that it? Looks like it might be it, I don't know. Let's see what direction we moved <laughs> from before. Okay, so that's the wrong direction. We're missing the road at this point. We need to go this way, though, I think. I think. It's really hard to tell. I wish I'd just show you on the map which way is which. Like, north, south, west, and all that stuff. It looks like we're going in the exact wrong direction. We need to try to find some way over over here. Try going down there more. Looks like that's nothing up there. We'll just keep looking for something, I guess, to get through. Gotta be a way, hopefully. Keep on surveying. Surveying. And we'll keep on picking up wood. In case we need to stop, we can either build a snow fort, or we can just stop and have a small fire and warm up for a bit. As you can see, the temperature is starting to drop a bit, and now the northern lights are going away. We're starting to ice over a bit. We need to get inside in a bit. Maybe this way it looks like pretty promising. farther. It might just be another cave or something. It might be nothing again. Sometimes you'll find a rope you can climb up to get over though. So let's give it a shot. Mushrooms, fur limbs, deer carcass. I guess we don't really need a deer carcass, but let's go check further. Maybe there's more up here. Here's an idea. Let's check. Oh no, we don't. I was gonna say if let's let's check for flares and if we got any we'll let them rip. And again, I'm sorry again about playing the same game. It's honestly the only thing I've been playing lately. I just uh been really stressful working on the art of sales simulator is really hard to do games in general. It gets really stressful and me and Queen Fish you need a break sometimes, so. This is what I've been playing, baby. Oh, there is a cave here. Maybe we can dry up at least. It's probably partially why the temperature's changing a bit. Let's see if there's any wood or anything in here. It doesn't look like it. And the temperature's climbing here, so. I'll have a little nap. A little nap or roo, baby. Wake up and we'll lighten that load. We should be dry because we're in the cave. And we are dry. We can lighten the load. I don't know where I got that from. Let's drink that. Let's look at our foods. Eat that. Try to eat the most rotten thing you can find first. And then you're lightening the load at the same time. 
not going to be able to process that deer, unfortunately. I don't think this is the way out as well, so we're going to have to keep going down a little farther and see what we got. We are going to pick up the occasional stick, because if we need to, and we get... Oh, did I grab my thing? Yeah, this is a big thing. I forget this a lot, obviously. That's why I'm so paranoid I forgot it. I forgot it a few times and had to start over, so... <laughs> and also, if you don't know... Again, I am the developer for Fished in a Town to Remember, and our newest game, which is coming out on November 30th, this month, in seven days, which is Yard Sale Simulator, full version. And you need to get it on your wish list, and you need to get it right away, because we need uh, lots of people playing it. It looks super fun. We even uh, had some uh, like really big news with... Um, Interest people's interest in the game. I don't know what, what I'm allowed to say and I don't want to say too much and get us in trouble or anything But companies were interested in us and I really think that's really cool So check it out yard sale simulator. It's bound to be our biggest game that we've made and again I'm not the maker of this game. I just play it Just playing it in my spare time while I wait for um, a yard sale simulator to come out So make sure you check it out too. I'm sure you're gonna love it and that's going to be on the 30th. And I probably stopped the video. I don't want to go too long on you guys. But uh, make sure you check out my uh, Twitch stream. You're going to enjoy that as well. Where you can see more videos of this. Um, more of me just playing other games. And you're going to get to see me playing live. Um, I'm going to start scheduling some, some Twitches. And we're going to probably do a giveaway on Yard Sale. Maybe a little bit after launch. So... Make sure you buy yourself a copy either way, and if you get an extra one, you can give it to a family member or something like that. Sound good, I imagine. Make sure you put out some videos on your Tail Simulator if you are playing it. Um, it's going to be amazing. That's all I got to say. There's so much to it. It's going to be so fun, and you guys are definitely going to enjoy it. So, for now, this is Lord Fishy signing out from Queenfish Games, and we will be back uh, probably in a few days. I'll probably do one more video of a different game, and then it's going to be Yard Sale Simulator. I'm going to be doing a couple of videos on that, because it's going to be out. So, <laughs> I hope you guys are just as excited as I am. Obviously, it means a lot to me, because me and Queen Fishy made it, but I'm sure it's going to mean a lot to you, too. Thanks again for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.